from the mid-1980s into the mid-1990s, existed a club in River Grove called the Thirsty Whale. Back when I was in my teenage years, I went to the Thirsty Whale. I saw Love Hate. I saw Enough's Enough. Um, saw a bunch of bands, mainly smaller uh, local artists. So where this all comes together is that I'm going to show you some of the things from the Thirsty Whale era um, a number of years ago. So right here, this is the Chicago Rocker Newsletter, and this came out weekly. The one that we're looking at here is from 1990. So this included all sorts of things um, such as advertisements, information about clubs, about bands, shows, places uh, to go to record a demo, um, also a lot of commentary and um, information about bands and about the music industry. And this was published by a guy by the name of Tony La Barbera, and he also worked at the Thirsty Whale. I didn't know him, but I, I did learn a lot about him by reading um, some stuff on the internet. So when you go through an old Chicago rocker like this, it brings you back to a whole bunch of different establishments that no longer exist. So here's the rock star shop. Um, I forget exactly where this was. I think this was not that far from the Thirsty Whale in River Grove, which now um, a McDonald's um, takes up at. I mean, there's a McDonald's at, at, at the Thirsty Whale location right here, which is 8800 West Grand. This here is a, a show list for local bands playing um, this week and into, it looks like, into August. And then the more you go into this, you start seeing a bunch of um, old clubs, like Malo's. I never went to Malo's, but I, I heard about it, and that's in the town that I live in. So that's at Lake and New York Street. Um, Interaction Lounge. That was in Stone Park. I remember their commercials. Okay. Here's one here called Carmi's in North Lake. I don't know anything about them. So you go through these and you take a look and it really does kind of bring you back. Here's another one called Stay Out in Hanover Park. I remember hearing about this one, but I really only went to the whale. So here's where this ties together. Tony LaBarbera, who was the uh, publisher or the editor for Chicago Rocker, also worked at the Thirsty Whale, also formed a company called Shark Entertainment, and he published a number of records and CDs over the years to promote local bands. And these are three CDs here, um, and I would say these are probably the, the most rare in my collection. And I have a pretty big CD collection, but I think there's only about 500 each of these. This is Metalworks Volume 5, Metalworks, Chicago Metalworks Volume 6, and Chicago Metalworks Volume 7. And what these CDs contain are just demos from local Chicago bands. And I remember hearing some of these bands because I did go to the, the, the Whale a number of times. And I was under 21, so I was going to these all-ages type shows. You'll also see down here 103.1 WVVX. So they were part of this as well. So the whole Chicago metal scene, you know, you see these logos and these companies on here. They, they really are all kind of intertwined together. Uh, but the Thirsty Whale being one of the, the legendary um, clubs to, to listen to this music. So I've converted these to MP3, actually. I, I really haven't even played these discs in a while, but uh, I've also digitized these the following albums right here. This is called the Chicago Class of 87, Silver Fin Times, and then this one here is the Chicago Class of 85. I bought these on eBay, the records, for probably about $25 each. I think it was around 2008. And um, what this is is the same thing as the CDs, except back in the 80s, the music was a little bit more AOR, a little more like contemporary rock, pop rock. So this isn't so much metal, although there are some heavy metal groups that are in here. And you'll see the producers, Tony La Barbera. So um, this is the one from 1985. And then this is the one from 1987. And there's a website out there that has a whole listing of other things that were put out by this label called Silver Fin. And I don't think they're available anymore, but, um, you know, these do exist if, if you look around, probably on eBay. So this is uh, another one here, just 
stuff from the from the 80s. I've digitized these, as I said, and I've listened to them. I've listened to them a number of times, and it's actually very good stuff. So um, these discs, the CDs, were actually purchased at Crow's Nest Digital in Naperville and Crest Hill. So, you know, physical media is pretty much dead right now, but these are ones that I'll definitely be holding on to because, um, you know, they mean a lot to me because they were from a really, I think, exciting era of, of my life because I really did enjoy my teenage years. I enjoyed the metal scene, and I still enjoy looking at these old CDs and things because um, they're, they're irreplaceable. So, hope you learned a little bit about uh, the hair metal, glam metal, metal scene in Chicago in the late 80s to mid 90s. Any questions or anything to add, please add it to the YouTube comments below. Thanks.